I do love my memorabilia collection because of all the memories, of course, that it brings. And the latest batch is from the TNSFC versus MSK Zillina Europa League game. Starting off there with the programme. There are three signatures on there and they're all from the goal scorers. So Leo Smith, they put the numbers next to them as well. Leo Smith, Louis Robles and Adrian Chislevich. I do collect programmes and with the TNS one, I actually have a, a column in there as well, interviewing Keston Davis and also Ken McKenna, who used to be the manager at the New Saints. That was a Tranmere Rovers, that was. So that'll go into my collection, along with the team sheet. I've got thousands of items now, and I've got many of these. In fact, I've got one from every game that I've been to that actually issues a team sheet. And then I've got the countdown to kickoff. That's on a, a large sheet of paper there. This actually was in the MSK Zillina. We can't say changing room because they were in the, uh, well, one of the function rooms at uh, Park Hall because of the COVID regulations, of course. And that tells you or gives you a rundown there from the time they arrive to full time. And I went in after they'd gone and this was on the side. So I uh, took that one for my uh, collection. And last, but certainly not least, the press pass. Now that's the biggest press pass that I've ever seen. And the red zone, they're now zones because of the COVID situation. The red zone is the equivalent of access all areas. So that means I can go anywhere with the red zone on the pitch or behind the scenes or whatever. And that's useful, of course, when you work into a football game in the way that I do, because you can then get to um, video or photograph behind where the normal journalist not able to uh, go. So that's another one for my collection. And then in the back, I've kept that one there, that's interesting. I had to have a COVID test, everyone does. So you've got your UEFA ID there. And I had my test, I proved negative, so everything all good on that front. But then my date of birth, the 2nd of January, 1900. And I've already referred to this in uh, other blog entries. I'll tell you what, I'm not looking bad for 120 years old, am I? These are going into my memorabilia collection, which is very extensive now. And if you like football memorabilia, then on my website, anglingrev.com forward slash football memorabilia, I've got everything listed in categories. So check that out.